Conan appeared from behind a thicket after watching Rosa leave. Uh oh. Uh oh. Maria gave a creepy laugh, but to Kanon, who had seen the whole thing, looked like she was enduring as best she could. Yeah, let him know, Kanon. Tell him. You're not, Maria. But it's okay. You're still my little homie. <laughs> Conan got down on his knees and picked up the trampled candy. It was tragic just looking at it. He thought about dusting it off and returning it to her, but really couldn't do so with it in that condition. Just as he was wondering what to do, he met Maria's gaze. No, that wasn't quite right. Maria was looking at the candy Conan had picked up. Right now, Maria's heart was surely the same as the candy that had been trampled into a pulp. Aww. Conan realized this, but didn't know what he should do. Conan remembered that a similar candy he'd received from Maria was in his pocket. Maria stuck out her hand. Conan thought she was trying to take it, so he held up the candy, but Maria didn't try to grasp it. Then Conan realized. She was saying give it back. No matter how tragic and trampled it was, this candy was Maria's. Her mother had bought it for her. No matter how tragic, it had to be this candy and no other. If only it were intact enough that it could be fixed by dusting it off. Canon hung his head. Canon held out the miserable looking candy Maria wanted. She took it and spoke. Except for Badler, there was no way anyone related to the Ushiromiya family could have failed to know Beatrice's name. But just now, Maria had bragged about Beatrice to Badler. She had spoken almost as though she was meeting with Beatrice regularly. Conan felt a sharp pain inside his left hand, which was curled into a fist. In the past, a witch called Beatrice had appeared to tempt him in Shannon. He'd always tried to think of it as a bad dream. However, Shannon insisted that it definitely was a real witch. And then, this summer, the shrine to the local Shinto god was hit by lightning, disappearing without a trace over the span of a single night. He knew about Shannon breaking that mirror. And he remembered that, as the witch departed, she said she'd eventually be revived. And now, this girl who believed absolutely in Beatrice, spoke as though she'd met Beatrice herself. Kanon couldn't suppress a vague sense of foreboding welling up in his heart. Yeah, that's fair. For a while, Maria remained silent as though she could see into Kanon's heart. Almost as though she was waiting for a memory of Beatrice to be revived. And then she spoke, as though it was a fact. <笑>マリアはね、ベアトリーチェと友達なの。今日だって会って一緒に遊ぶよ。遊び。遊ぶよ。一緒にね、魔法の勉強をするの。<laughs> the face of that witch, whom Canon had tried to pretend was a bad dream, began to slowly creep into the back of his mind. Okay, okay. こちらへはおいでになれないとのことです。やれやれ。こちとら秋のお忙しの中、日程をつけて、はるばる六軒島まで来てるんだぜ。親父も少しは愛想をよくしてもらいたいもんだぜ。本当よね。南城先生。<
本当に研究や機嫌の問題なのベッドから起き上がれないくらいに容態が悪いって言うんじゃないのさてどうでしょうかな私の口からは何とも Nanjo glanced at Natsi. It seemed he thought it wasn't his place to speak without first getting Natsi's approval. Oto Samawa, Masmas ni Gokenko de Irashaimas. Netakiri Nadoto, Sire Kiwa Marinai. Demo Yome Sanka gets none the show. Futuni Kangareba Yaseo Toro at the bed do Karamo Kirana Hazu Yo. De show, Nanjo Sense. For a normal patient. Kinzo san wa nami hazureta kiryoku o omochi desu. Ano kiyaku ni omukai mo osorete chikayore nai no kamo shiremasen na. Yeah, we'll go with that. Sore hodo made ni ogenki nara sukunaku tomo anshin ne. Soko made genki nara semete aishatsu kura iwa sasete hoshii mon nan da ga ne. Shinzoku kaigi ってのは oyaji no kao o mi ni kita ってい mi nan da ze. これじゃ、何のために来たのかわからねえぜ。そういうな、いればいたで、心が休まらないといつもぼやくのだろうが。<笑>兄弟一同水いらずで、今年も全員かけることなく集まれたことを、喜ぼうじゃないかな。Yeah, we're all just here to have a nice little family getaway. No other ulterior motives, of course. 昨年の親族会議でも会えなかったのよ。血を分けた子供たちが2年ぶりに挨拶したいというのがどうして理解してもらえないのかしら挨拶の言葉があるのでしたら私どもがお伝えします<笑> yeah, let her know, Nazi. それとも何かお父様にお会いして挨拶以上のお話でもあられるのですかん<笑>いやね何の話よもう。<笑>予算かエヴァ。Yeah, rain, rain in your woman, ヒデヨシ。カニな。エヴァも娘としてお父さんの病状が不安なだけなんや。Listen, ヒデヨシ、I get it. You're standing up for your woman, being like, no, 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 listen, she she doesn't have any ulterior motives, but like, come on, no one believes your bullshit, ヒデヨシ。ちょいと気持ちを汲み取ってな。その通りだな。エヴァは親父殿が嫁を宣告されてから急に親孝行をするようになったじゃないか。<笑>なるほど。その姿をぜひ見てもらいたいという気持ちもわからなくない。<笑>何が言いたいのよ。Yeah. Yeah. Fucking tear into that bitch, Kraus. I don't normally support Kraus, but you know what? If he's tearing into Eva, then right now he's my boy. よせよ、姉貴。晩飯までには機嫌を直してくれるよう祈ろうじゃねえかそれに俺たちは到着したばかりまずは軽く挨拶に訪れただけだぜ親族会議は親父抜きだってできるいや兄弟で意見を統一してからじゃなきゃ話せねえことだっていろいろあるはずだぜ Yeah there's a few things we siblings should work out wink wink n i c e n i g h t ひでよし兄さんそうや、ルドルフ君の言う通りや。わしらが全員顔を揃えるのは年に一度しかない。貴重な時間を大事にし、汚ない話し合いをせんといかん。Even though the tea hadn't yet arrived, they were very determined. でも、その前に本家の素晴らしい調度品に囲まれた客まで、のんびりと紅茶を楽しむゆとりがあってもいいんじゃないかしら。Kiryu's words seemed to contain a subtle ad admonition directed at everyone gathered there. They all understood, and as they cleared their throats and straightened their neckties, the atmosphere in the room returned to normal for a time. <laughs> Love Kiryu. Just stepping in, being like, hey, you're all acting like idiots. Calm the fuck down. <laughs> <laughs> Man, when Hideyoshi isn't yo know, fucking standing up for his woman, he's. I really like him. 
I hate when he defends Ava, but also I like it when he defends Ava because it shows you his character, alright? That he's a man who stands up for his queen, alright? And I can respect that. As much as I don't like his queen, I respect that man, alright? Hideyoshi, like, bruh. I cert- Man. I swear to god, if this fucking game does something to make me not like Hideyoshi, I'm gonna be so upset. Because so far, like, Hideyoshi, like, yo, know, it, it was a down, it was downhill at first, like, I started out like, ah, he seems alright, and then as the story progressed, I was like, eh, he's, he's okay. But then, like, you know, right before his death in episode one, I was like, oh wait, no, he's actually pretty fucking dope. Yeah, there, there's a lot more to him than I realized. But, like, so far, this, like, shit, we're only in episode two, and this has been quite the fucking roller coaster of, like, which characters do I like, which characters don't I like. So, <laughs> who knows? I mean, fuck, there's still six more episodes, there's still the rest of this episode, and then six more after this. Like, there's plenty of time for them to do something with this man that's gonna make me not like him. But right now, I, I sincerely hope they don't, they, that Hideyoshi does not fuck me over right now, because I'm really liking this guy. <laughs> Shannon entered the parlor, pushing the serving cart. Everyone decided to relax and enjoy some black tea for the time being. A wonderful aroma began to spread throughout the room. As far as anyone could see, this strained atmosphere from before Shannon's arrival seemed like a lie. Of course, Shannon, who was setting out the tea, probably didn't even notice. Kitty seemed to laugh faintly at how adult everyone was suddenly acting. Rudolph didn't like it when Kitty took the initiative and spoke at the family conference. It was his worthless male pride. <laughs> He probably didn't want to look like a weak man who took advice from his wife. N nah, respect your queen, goddammit. <laughs> like, listen, I get it, this is the 80s. The 80s were a lot more, uh, <laughs> misogynistic than the current day, but, uh, come on. Respect your goddamn queens. The fuck's wrong with you people? <laughs> That's why I like Hideyoshi. <laughs> Alright? Like, Rudolph, Krauss, they... They're just like, babe, shut the fuck up, I'm the man, let me handle this. It's like, no, 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 no. Respect your queens, goddammit. It's unfortunate that the one man who actually respects his queen has a fucking flaming pile of shit for a queen. But you know what? At least he fucking, he stands up for his woman and fucking listens to his woman. Also, his woman kind of wears the pants in the relationship. You know, she's the actual, you know, blood connection to the whole Usharomia family. So he kind of has to, in a sense. But... At the same time, it's like, you know, even when he disagrees with her, even when, because we saw that in episode one, even when he's not totally on her side, he'll still stick up for her because that's his woman. I got, you, you gotta show that man respect. You gotta. The other two, fuck him. Rose's husband, shout out to that guy. <laughs> shout out to Maria's dad for dropping Rosa. <laughs> like, it's a shame Maria fucking is gonna grow up without a father. That sucks, but uh, at least he made the smart decision of dropping Rosa, that's for sure. <laughs> Can't blame a man for that. <laughs> she understood that and did her best to refrain from saying any more than was necessary. So she separated herself from the circle of siblings, who only superficially appeared to be enjoying some time together alone, and casually drank her tea near the window. <laughs> Yes, my <laughs> magic kitty is like, I'm a little exasperated by my husband, you know, since I have one of those. <laughs> then Rosa just like, oh, you motherfucker. <laughs> Apparently Rosa hadn't been able to keep up with that on-the-surface friendliness. They'd come here to fight bloodily and dirtily, each trying to grab a part of the inheritance for themselves. She probably didn't like suddenly pretending that they were all chummy. Or maybe she was still too immature for that. You know what else blows hard? Me, on my husband, since I have one of those. <laughs> I don't know if we'll get a lot of rain, but I'll definitely be getting wet because I'll be getting on with my husband. You know, since I have one of those. Maria-chan, this year has been a lot of fun. 
Yeah, uh, watch your face fucking shift. So She's nine. Like, motherfucker, I don't fold my clothes properly. <laughs> I, I, I can, quote, fold them, <laughs> if you want to call it that. <laughs> but fuck you, I'm in my 20s, alright? <laughs> and I don't fold clothes properly. That's not the making of a fucking adult. <laughs> oh, they could fold their clothes. Fuck you. I have a closet. I put shit on a hanger. <laughs> I don't need to fold clothes. Suck my dick. At this point, I'm just finding anything I can to fucking get pissed at Rosa about. <laughs> yeah, let her know, Kirie. Let her know. No, she doesn't. Kirie, listen. D <laughs> no. I think Kirie is purposely saying that to dig at her. She's like, yeah, no, because her mother cares about her, right? <laughs> let that bitch know. Let that bitch know. <laughs> yeah, you know, as long as she has a mother who loves her and treats her with care and kindness, she'll definitely grow into a good person. But, you know, if she has a mother who's a piece of shit, you know, she'll definitely become a little piece of garbage. It's really, you know, the parents' fault for what the children become, so if you're seeing a problem with it, chances are you should probably look at yourself. I mean, um, <clears throat> nice weather we're having. Actually, it isn't because of the typhoon. Anyway. Rosa fell silent. Good. Good. Maybe she was unsure as to what Kitty meant by that. Oh no, you know. Oh, you know. It was a very fucking indirect jab at you, but oh, it's there. Yeah! Yeah, you are. Holy shit, for once Rosa actually spitting facts? Let's go. True. What? You trying to take jabs at Maria? Oh no, it's more jabs at Rosa, isn't it? <laughs> you can't choose what kind of kids you have, so you should treat them with care and kindness regardless. Rosa bit her lower lip. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't a matter of assigning blame, but if it were, I'd place it all on you. Except that clearly she doesn't. <laughs> then take your time and watch over her as she grows. But clearly you're not paying attention to her growth because when people say, Oh look, Maria's really grown over these last few years. You're like, huh? What? Really? Rosa-san,毎日をマリアちゃんと過ごしてるから小さな変化に気づかないかもしれないけれど <laughs> Also, you probably only look for the bad things, so you can fucking, yo, know, treat her like shit even more so and fail to recognize the good things changing in her. Or the fact that you treat her like shit so very few good changes are going to take place. Don't give her any credit, Kitty. Don't give her any kind of credit. It's like... Oh, you know, maybe it's because you spend every day with her that you don't see these changes like we did. No, 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 she's a piece of shit. She's a piece of shit. Don't give her any credit. Well, I should be like, oh, no, I didn't mean it. It was just like a hypothetical statement. Like, if that's the case, then yeah. Shunnam bowed politely and left the room. As Hideyoshi and Rudolph, who had a soft spot for women, watched her go. <laughs> My guys. The atmosphere in the room began to revert back to what it had been right before Shannon's visit. <laughs> I love just the thought of like, these two dudes just chilling, watching, for, probably staring at Shannon's ass as she walks out the door and the moment she like turns the corner just immediately they frown like that. They got these huge ass smiles on their face, huge goofy smiles just like, hey, yeah, that's a nice ass, uh, and then just... お父様がいらっしゃられないならそれはそれでできる話もあるというものよねえルドルフルドルフああそうだね俺たちははるばるここまで<笑><笑> 
Damn, your tea dusty? Shadow, what the fuck did you do to the tea? How did you get dust in the tea? Shadow? Yokaru. What does this matter? You're clearly so eager to discuss. Is hot dog sandwich or no? You know Rudolph is on the sandwich yeah, side. Yeah, you know yeah. he is. You know for a fact Rudolph is full, hot dog is a sandwich, alright? Don't ask me how I know, I just know. The rest of them, it's like, ah, I can't quite place them. But you know, you know just looking at the motherfucker, Rudolph is full. Hot dog is a sandwich. And I ain't judging either side. I ain't saying, you know, one's right and one's wrong. But I'm just saying, you know, Rudolph is full. Hot dog is a sandwich. Good. I hope they do forget there are four siblings. Because you suck. You don't deserve anything. No. No, you, you actually you should have spoke even more harshly. You should have really tore into her. Like you stuck the knife in her, but you should have fucking twisted it. No, don't apologize. Don't apologize. Don't ask for forgiveness. Don't do that. Bad kid, yeah. <laughs> ごめんなさい。クラック。私たち互いに娘を持つ母親同士なんだから、もっと交流しなきゃいけないのに、いつも会えば変な話ばかりで。この屋敷の空気のせいよ。ここの空気を嗅ぐと、いつも私たちはギ